Hello again, welcome back to Daily New Vegas, I uh, not New Vegas, sorry. Uh, repentance. Okay, so, last time went kind of bad, so let's try it again. No. Okay, that's better. Because <laughs> I haven't even done, done that with, uh, you know, did Jacob and Esau with the base. So regular Isaac Darkroom, huh? Okay. Sounds a little bit more manageable. See, here's YN, YM, APC1. It is a nice, uh, nice, uh, Saturday evening. Days are starting to cool off some more. We're not getting as many highs and stuff. Still some uh, hot weather here and there, but I think we're slowly kind of getting to that point where there's less and less of it. I don't even know how winter's gonna be this year. My reflection, huh? I'm not taking that garbage. Yeah, anyways, uh, I've been doing well. I uh, talked about in yesterday's episode that I was feeling a little better. Uh, yeah, but when I tried eating some, uh, some good stuff, you know, some like extra stuff that I, uh, I normally eat, I, uh, couldn't I, like I, I for some reason I was chewing on it and chewing on it and chewing on it so it was like the broccoli I thought to myself okay maybe the broccoli is bad nope then I tried the uh, then I tried the, um, the other stuff the um, oh what was it uh, eggs yeah scrambled eggs and stuff uh, well, let's just say that uh, I just couldn't eat it. Like, I don't know, maybe because I still have stomach issues that my body thinks it's full or something weird. I don't know. And something about saliva. I, I feel like saliva has something to do with it. Look at that. We're just smoothing the silk. Shot speed up. And yeah, I just couldn't, uh, I couldn't chew it up for some reason. So I couldn't eat it. I, and I tried to force myself to eat some of it, and I did. But then I had like heartburn and some other issues going on, like through, you know, last night all the way through like mid part of the day here. And I'm like, geez, man, let me go back to my normal diet. <laughs> my body's still healing. So then I decided that I started doing a 72 hour fast and I haven't done like a fast in like months. So I need to be doing that once a month, you know, three day fast, fast. I've been thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it, putting it off and stuff. And I just finally just got around to it. It's like, you know what? I need to he actually heal my stomach for once. Cause I was reading stuff like, oh, if you recover from uh, stomach virus, that uh, you should be, you know, slowly introducing certain foods and all that other stuff. And I'm like, yeah, but then at the same time, you're not like getting yourself the proper like, you know, healing method, you know, not healing method, but the proper like healing that it's needed for your stomach to like fully recover when you keep eating. So that was the problem too, was like, when I first started eating food, Again, uh, I was only able to eat very little bit slowly, same same as what was like yesterday. So that's because my stomach was still kind of sensitive. And I remember one day, uh, a couple of nights ago after I ate, I went to bed, and that was like after I had some like stomach issues after I ate. And then the next morning I was, uh, yesterday morning, I was like, uh, feeling a lot better so the lack of eating I think honestly is what helped the most not like so 
so much of what I've been eating. Like, maybe it did aggravate some things, of course, but like, I wasn't gonna like, yeah, mess around with stuff, eat with that. Yellow. By the way, that's the uh, mod I installed yesterday in the episode. It just never went off because uh, because I never found a single good item. It keeps doing that. That's amazing. Yeah, I see the meme of that, and like someone desperately wanted, some people were desperately wanted a mod stuff. Got it. Now one room is interesting here, so it doesn't reroll the space bar item, I don't think. But we can get it taking advantage of this. Once we get our devil deal. I'm gonna never get one. Yeah. So it's a good thing that I'm like getting back into this whole fasting bit. I just been putting it off, that's the problem. For num you know, numerous reasons. I feel pretty good so far, like very little stomach pain and stuff. Not really much stomach acid issues. Which that's the common thing that happens too with fasting, because I did read about it. That uh, if you uh, drink too much water, then it mimics like you know, being full or something like that, and then your body produces more stomach acid. So there's that, I guess. <laughs> uh, I just gotta watch this. I just work with this. <laughs> okay, let's see. I, I don't even get what the reference is to. But, uh... That's pretty funny. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, you know, second thought, skip the dice room. <laughs> Why well, skip the dice room? Well, plans have changed, I say. We got Brimstone and Mountain Eagle's power. So yeah, they say between 48 and 72 hours, that's when, that's like the magic number with uh, fasting, where uh, it heals your stomach and caught, you know, creates stem cells and whatever. I did that for a competition years ago. Did some really good work with that. Did I get like two? Oh yeah, bar. That's right. Plus the uh, health up from the pill. So our health is back to normal. I don't know about the self sacrifice room. Oh, this room's fine. But yeah, like. Uh, I haven't done it in a while. And like, it, it really works, too. Like, it gets you much more clarity of thinking and stuff because, like, your, your body's not using up all this energy to digest food and whatever. So I, I think the first 12 hours it starts doing stuff. 12 hours on the fast. I was reading one article. I was like, oh, what looks, well, it's a medical thing. I think it was just like a blog. I don't think someone had any credentials. And I was talking about, uh, oh, well, there's no, there's no, 
There's very little research of uh, the benefits of fasting. It's like, oh crap. <laughs> bold crap, like the hardcore bold, bold crap. There's a documentary I seen talking about keto, and they had one person on there. It was a Netflix documentary, I think. Uh, I forgot the name, but uh, they had a person on there who had type 2 diabetes. I'll just be very specific here because it's not type 1 diabetes where, like, that's not going to help you regardless. The uh, keto, unfortunately. I mean, it's going to help you a little bit, but it's not going to, like, help you substantially to what I'm about to say here. Because people's bodies are totally different, and, uh, it's not going to thwart the effects from, uh, the negative effects from type 1. But for type 2 diabetes, for this lady, she, she was just constantly on insulin and everything. And then she has to increase her insulin intake and whatever. Insulin shots. And uh, I don't know. She she for some reason she got onto keto. Interesting here. And it doesn't play that dance for the same reason for this. All right, well, I deserve that. Um. So yeah. Anyway, she was uh, she was on keto. She got on keto. And as time was going on, she was noticing that her like dependency on having a bunch of insulin drops significantly to the point where as long as she's on keto she doesn't even have to take insulin anymore that's nuts because like you know you're converting energy and you're converting energy from uh, ketones instead of sugar it's crazy and it makes sense too with like People who are diabetic, they have to. Oh, I shouldn't have used that bomb there. It's crazy that people can uh, find alternatives in their energy source. Because it took me a while to kind of transition, of course, to. Um, oh, I can see for Evo. For Evos. For Evas and Evas. Did some laundry tonight too. Um, right. There could be some potential here. If we can get over there too, that's another. Look at this guy. Look at this dude. Oh, we need some flight. But yeah, it's like, uh, it's what's going on, man, this process, with healing and whatever. It's gonna take time. I'm, I'm hoping it doesn't take a long time, because, like, this is unusual for me to, like, recover, taking this long to recover from a stomach flu. Like, it took me, like, you know, a little over a day or so before I, uh, completely got off, you know, before I stopped, you know, having symptoms, major symptoms. Dang gum, son. Mushroom, why not? Yeah, man, get some shrooms. Letty. Get Letty. Ah, actually, there is a, uh, Chris room down here. I forgot to go down into. I'll definitely take that. My pretty. My precious. Yeah. But I, yeah, anyways, going back to the point with this, it's like. And of course, they were saying, too, it's a medical thing. Or all this separate thing, actually. Separate medical thing. It's like, oh, well, uh... Also, don't do it fast when you're steering recovery of the, uh... Stomach flu. Or, duh, I mean... Electrolytes. You gotta, you know... Take care of your electrolytes is a crucial thing. You should be dehydrated. It's a big, like a big thing. You get the virus. Where are we getting? Oh, yeah, that's right. I got the... Got the hat thing on. 
I almost forgot. I to say we got like very lucky with these. I'll just tap it once. We have a little jig. <laughs> okay. No flight, huh? Well, you know what? It's probably gonna. It's probably gonna. Yeah, it will jeopardize my uh, stuff going on here. But like, maybe. Payout, please. Payout, please. Something else, please. Something else, please. Oh my god. I mean, might as well, right? I mean, if I decide whether I want to go to Mega Center or not. If I feel powerful or not. Right now, that's kind of an issue. Look at that, Soul Hearts. Oh, I should, I should have picked up the one. Some of these. <laughs> We're fine. You know, it'd be kind of cool. Like, figure out, like, you know, with all these diseases and stuff that spreads and sicknesses and whatever. It'd be kind of cool if you could figure out, like, Who exactly gave you the virus, you know? Like a sickness or something. Oh yeah, it was this person of this place and da da da. Go track them down and confirm. I was like, hey, how dare you come in here at this time of this day and make me catch the virus from you. I'll be screwed up if that happened. Okay, let's see. Is there a battery in the shop? Maybe we can reroll something there. Oh, we don't want to leave our card behind, though. That's for sure. Hey, you stranger! You shouldn't be like doing that. Spraying your viruses, smearing your dirty fingers on stuff, your butt cheeks. My weight bar is supposed to be coming in on Monday or so, but I think it's going to be like a little bit later because they haven't even shipped it out yet. And that should be the last of the equipment and then all I have is like the weights, which they're much more affordable. So I got a decent bar coming in too. So I got to build that freaking uh, bench press machine. It won't take me long to do, it's just I haven't got around to do it. But doing other stuff. Like getting sick. Oh, that's such a chore, getting sick. Oh, I, I did watch a little documentary thing about this kid in, uh, I think it's in the UK or something. Stabbed a teacher to death and stuff. I, you, you might be wondering, like, well, why are you talking about this weird stuff right now? Well, just something I did today, I don't know. I just watched it, and it was like, yeah, just this kid was just kind of demented and whatever, and decided to give him some charges, and they probably have additional charges on him for the future. Talking about, uh, it doesn't seem like uh, he was uh, 
don't think about the parents by anything. Talk about divorce, but like it wasn't a violent divorce, supposedly. It's hard to say. Like, could be something chemically imbalanced in the brain. Could be like someone's lying. Could be a number of things. Who knows? It seems like, as though like you know, things anymore you can't really take face value. Things are becoming more and more complex in this world. With, you know, technology becoming more and more complex and people twisting things. Like the internet's made things a lot worse, in my opinion. And I'm, I, I'm ironically contributing to this filth by uh, reducing my own filth. Uh, we can try rolling. Two thirds uh, bookworm, I guess. I said we buy a battery here and then just go and fight and see what we get. And if it's something we can worth re rolling, we'll re roll. Otherwise, we'll go back to the item room. Information superhighway, you know. I was also seeing some stuff about Afghanistan too, a little bit. I, I try not to get in the news, but send up a gun. I don't know why I'm clicking on it. It just draws you in. It's so interesting, man. Uh, uh, I don't know about that. I think we get stats if we leave, right? Leave it? Leave it alone? I think we do. Like a damage up. So hard, yeah. Looky but not touchy. Like anything at all, like even the chests. They count as devil deals for some reason for this. I guess that's fair if you're trying to make something, you know, gives you devil deals. You know, singular damage upgrade, that's pretty huge. Each floor. Since we've got go ahead, we can do it like for a while, we get the end. Ooh, actually, I might run into him later. Oh my god! Oh my goodness! I just try to rush out of there. Right when I got hit that first time, I'm like, forget this. How are we looking at this run? I mean, we're looking okay. I prefer to have more damage. Brimstone makes a difference, though. I think. Piercing sh shots. Infinite range. You know, I'm kind of chosen for some pizza. <laughs> I had pizza last week. I shouldn't be eating that stuff all the time. I'm definitely taking that. Key, okay. Yeah, um. I might as well blow you out. What else to say? Like, uh. I mean, I haven't been reading, of course. Uh, I should be reading. I got a freaking Kindle last year. I read like a bunch of books, and then this year I'm like. What? Books? Why should I be reading? Ooh, okay, you're a ghost baby, huh? Butter? I can't believe it's not butter. I can't believe it's margarine. I'd rather have butter. 
but I can't eat that. That's, that's the funny thing, too. It's like, uh, yesterday I could eat the cheese. Some cheese, and then, like, but then I can't even eat the, uh, can't even eat the scrambled eggs with the cheese and the butter. Like, what the heck? <laughs> I think because, like, I got to the point where it's like, I've eaten so, eaten so much. That I uh, probably just had too much in my stomach already. I don't know. I'm not a stomach doctor. I'm not a gastrologist. We're just getting pretty lucky with items here, huh? Might as well. It's free after all. Now it's starting to pay out. <laughs> oh, it doesn't take it away. Cool. Hey, look at that. A little speed upgrade. A little health upgrade, too. I need some speed. A little thunder thigh, sure as heck. Uh, Took my speed down a notch. Yeah, so like, uh. Yeah, uh. I did some laundry. T oh, yeah, did I already said I already did some laundry? I think I did. I know in the last video I did talk about that. It's very eventful. I know, man. Think about going to see a movie later in the week, too. Might as well, the theaters are open. Um, I mean, I watch movies at home during COVID. A lot of movies. But like... Uh, it's nicer to go to the theaters and watch them. Well, at least the decent ones, not like... Decently rated ones, not like them. The ones are gonna be garbage. Let's see here. So we're going to dark room for this. Now this tickles my fancy. Another damage, uh... Curse of the Blind, huh? So that means, like, we won't even know what our items are gonna be, so... We're gonna have to probably skip those again. Or go in blind. I feel like I've just been kind of bored with, you know, doing stuff, though, last, like, few weeks. To try to figure out, you know, figure out what things to do and whatever. Like, I got all these video games. But video games could only go so far, you know? And I don't want to be, like, getting back into, like, playing a bunch of them like, I look at the clock, it's like morning and then I look at it again, it's like the middle of the night. <laughs> or something weird. Hey, yeah, I mean, I should watch more movies. That's it. Watch more movies. What's going on here? I mean, we're gonna have to. Alright. Tears up? Why not? That's pretty good. Could have been Cursed Eye. And you know why? Cursed Eye probably wouldn't have been bad. Because that probably would give us multiple shots. I think. At once. Alright. Got the speed for it.
Maybe I should cook something. And not eat it. Cook something very, like, delicate. Something very, like, tasty and cuisine. Take a Insta few Instagram photos and then throw it in the garbage. Oh, I'm not paying for this. This is just for an Instagram photo. What do you mean you're not paying for this? You made it yourself! You paid for the ingredients to make it. I hope you paid for those ingredients when you made, made that delectable dish. You monster. That reminds me of a video too, another one. Uh, it's about this uh, college student or something was researching about like wasteful food, which don't get me wrong, like it's kind of nutty that food is being wasted at times. Oh God. We got that crown. Oh, blue key, huh? That could get us the hush. If we wanted to do that. I might be just crazy enough to do it. Of course, the items are going to, like, be jumbled and stuff. I'm just going to have to just take a leap of faith and grab everything. People some, somehow like figured out, some people that took the crown thing figured out how to like do it. You take the item before, you, you take the item that's before that other item that you want. I don't know why I'm looking for rooms here if uh, I've got the uh, goggles. I guess I'm built different. I mean, might as well, right? I know it compromises my damage and stuff, but... Well, this one's also... Why not? More health, the better, right? He says that. After, re after realizing his ways. In all likelihood, I might not even go touch. <laughs> after I picked up my crown and... Oh. Which one is it? This one? Yeah, I'm doing this. Eh, you know why? Rain, that's like pitiful. I think I just shot myself in the foot doing that. Can I tell what's over there? I could have sworn it, sh it showed something on there. This room's, uh, something. Don't worry, gang. We can do this. We've been through thick and thin before. Oh, my God. Oh, my Lord. Imagine being big, fat, juicy ticks inside of that little thing. Inside that little monster. What's going on? Yeah. Man, all right. 
I thought that was gonna get me. Yep, so like... I don't know, like... Reading, I suppose, would probably be a better, like, thing to do than watching a bunch of movies. Learn to educate yourself, boy. I suppose we could go to the hash and uh, try to take him on because we have arrow walk. Give an opportunity for more items to choose from. That is going to be like randomized. I can't figure out the patterns, Mason. I don't know about any of this. To be quite honest with you, fam. Alright, there's something in here that's interesting. Hey, I got what I wanted. Though no, I, uh... Okay, the blue key doesn't work anymore? Wait a minute. Is this even the right thing that does it? Oh no, that's the other one. That's the cursed one. That's the cursed crap. Alright. Yeah, I again I shot myself with the foot by taking even more stuff than I shouldn't have. Woe is me. Also this thing. This is like one of my first synerg synergies in uh repentance. I was trying to figure out how to do this. Press the controls button and it'll stop it. I don't know if this gives us more damage or not. Oh my god. How did I screw up so badly in these things? That helps a little bit. We're going to have to try. Come on, you gotta give me. Shoot myself in the foot again. Vengeful spirit, man. Like, I don't care for it. It's like, hey, yeah, let's just uh, let's just keep plundering my health further down. That helps. Oh, it's going the wrong way, huh? Didn't surprise me. Alright, nothing. That's cool. Coward. If I had, like, Spoonbender, it'd be, like, nice. He's, like, in, like, home on stuff. Can you just stay away from me, please? I can't. There we go. Oh, thank you. Thank the Lord. I don't know about that. Oh, God. No. <laughs> you 
Metenesis. All right. Come on. Blank ruin, huh? Tagalos. Tagalos. Chariot card, man. Pulling on my heartstrings here. Oh, you put me in this room, huh? Thank you. Back to square one. Okay. You could always use the chariot car to go in the curse room. This is the last hurrah. I could. I'm too scared, man. Oh my goodness gracious. It's near filled with skulls so you don't get the black heart as much. It's the old days, man. The olden golden days. Okay. I have to make a big boy decision here. Do we want to, like, take the chariot card into the fight or do we want to use the arrow walk in here? Me thinks take arrow walk. Screw that up. We'll just uh, keep our distance from this thing. These things. I'll say it. Yeah, I think this was probably a good decision. At least with getting the lamb, we might be able to find some health chests or stuff. Chests with goodies. Okay. That's a huge whiff when you when I had to use that uh, card in there for that. Fortunately, I don't know what we do with chariot though. This is all kinds of crap here. Oh, I picked up. Yeah, no. There is Lazarus Rags. That's like, yeah, again, trying to get that. Oh my God. And that's like next to impossible for me. I really don't want Isaac's heart. Uh, wow, well, okay. <laughs> I deserve that. I deserved all of that. I could have like made it if I didn't pick up all those items like that. Just too greedy. Anyways, thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.